Diadem has done it again. You want to hear about the new Diadem Warrior V2? Stay tuned. Let's talk a little bit about the Warrior line. Have you here? You know, one of the things I like about Diadem is that they don't do the same thing twice. Okay, they take technology and they, they innovate off of that and they take what they've learned and then they apply it to the next model. One of the things I truly appreciate about companies like this is that they're innovative. Not two of their pedals are alike. Uh, what I love about this is that, so the first one that came out was the Warrior. Now the Warrior had a waffle setting, you know, so it had waffles for the first time. It was like layers of polypropylene. And then it had this a little bit harder uh, acrylic type core in the middle. And so what would happen is, is they're very much a control paddle, but when you would compress the ball, when you would put power into it, it would hit that center core and it would gain speed. The one drawback about this is about eight, five ounces. So it was a little bit heavier. People couldn't, um, couldn't use it. And then it had the molded handle. It was a 19 millimeter paddle, biggest paddle, thickest paddle on the market at the time. And then it had a tapered handle that, that tapered down to a normal feel. So you could not have to have huge hands to hold this big, thick paddle. The next evolution of that was the Warrior Edge. Now the Warrior Edge was the first carbon line where it had an etched carbon face and it was a, a 16 millimeter paddle instead of a 19 millimeter paddle. It still had the smaller handle, really good bevels. It was the first um, crack at the carbon etching and it was a very solid paddle. It's the one that Christian Alshon plays. Really good paddle. Uh, about, about 1450 on Chris Olsen's spin chart. So not a high spinning paddle but I would say a great all-around blocking paddle, great playing paddle, and uh, if you watch Christian Alshon with it, like he makes some amazing shots with this paddle. So then let's get to the Warrior V2. So the Warrior V2 is an edgeless design. So a couple different things. Let's talk about the innovation that they've put into this paddle. So first it's edgeless. And then they give you this armor tape that you put around it to protect the edge. And the edge is done with this liquid carbon fiber. So first thing new to this is a liquid carbon fiber edge that gives it a little, a, a lot more support. And this thing is a molded frame. So this is a molded frame in here with the same waffle method that they used on all of the Warrior lines here. This has the three layers of the XL core with a, with a middle core that is a little bit stiffer. Same molded handle, same bevels, same everything here. They took the weight off of it. So instead of being 8.5, it's 8.25. So it's lighter. Still a little bit head heavy, not as head heavy as the original Warrior. And so the 8.25 ounces leans a little bit more forward. So then the next thing they did with this is they did the same carbon fiber etched face, same as the Warrior Edge. So this would get around the whole 1450 RPMs by Chris Olson's chart, and the swing weight would probably be around the same 120. So we talked about the face, we talked about the edge, and we talked about the edgeless design. Let's talk about performance. I love this paddle. I love playing with it. Uh, what I found with playing with this paddle that the whole face becomes a sweet spot. It is a very large sweet spot. You get a lot more feedback from the edge. So if you're hitting off on the edge, you know it. You feel a little bit more uh, resistance in your hand. You feel a little bit more shock up your hand, but it's not unpleasant. It's very, it's very telling of where you're hitting the ball on the face and it helps you make an adjustment really quickly. This is still a control paddle. I, I would not say that this is a spinny paddle that you're like, hey, I'm going to just carve the ball all over the place, but it is very comparable spin. In certain shots, it performs really well. I love my blocks with it. I love my resets with it. I like my drives with it because when I relaxed and just let the paddle do the work, this had plenty of spin, as you can see from my drives and my drops, and a lot of times my dinks. I'm able to get enough spin with this paddle to do whatever I want with it. I found it exceptional with counter punching at the kitchen line. When I was up and ready to block, because it's 8.25 ounces, it is still a very solid paddle. So when it hits anywhere on this face, I'm getting resistance. I'm getting ability to get a hand on a ball. And my hands, I felt, because of the 8.25 ounces, it's not so head heavy, so you're not like drooping. I found I was able to hold my position up better. I wasn't letting the paddle droop as much as the heavier paddles. So that's one of the, the drawbacks of heavier paddles is that you, you, they're so heavy that you let them droop and you, you let your paddle get down. And so I was able to keep this up better. And I love the handle shape. I've always liked 
this tapered handle. I thought that Diadem did a phenomenal job with this handle because you can feel the bevels. And so for those that are changing grip, like I'm really working on changing from an Eastern grip where my knuckles on this bevel here, the top bevel on bevel three, and then I'm switching to Continental when I'm at the kitchen. I even beat Dave Nell in skinny singles for the first time in my life with this paddle. So this paddle is amazing just because of that. <laughs> just kidding. It is a good performing paddle. I found that I really like it. I really like it. It is going to be in the regular rotation in my bag. It also looks really nice. I like the sharp yellow. It's kind of different. Um, and I, I like the overall, I like the balance of the paddle. But you know what, this might not be the paddle for you. If you want to see the reviews I have of the other two models here, you can look here. Yeah, you can go. That's okay. I'm not going to be offended. You do not have to do what I say. But you can go click there. Just, I mean, click there.